Welcome to F1000 Insider. We're live from Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course for rounds three and four of the 2020 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPC USA. Before we get on to that on-track action, let's check out who took home the big prizes on Friday night. Did you guys notice how that tow fund keeps getting bigger and bigger? It was $100 from Pitt, $160 at Mid-Ohio. It'll be $212 for VIR. That's right, guys, $212 just for rolling through the gate. $100 from Scotty. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. I'm not even going to pull your arm. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, right on. We haven't even qualified yet. You get like over $250. That's a good day. Good start. Awesome. Thank you. Yay. Congratulations again to all the cash prize winners from Friday night. Now let's roll into some on-track action as we take on round three on Saturday morning. EPC is your full service solution for responsible end of use IT asset disposal. And it would be a new track record for the defending champion Alex Mayer, almost three quarters of a second faster than last year's time set by Nico Vardis. It is a 120.7 for Alex Mayer in the 77. Now let's take a, a lap around this amazing 15 turn course with your new track record holder, Alex Mayer. Now that looks like a fun lap. And when the green flag flew, Alex jumped out to a lead. However, Riley Harris and Steve Hamilton had a phenomenal battle going back and forth for second place. Just trading fast laps all day. And it would be Riley Harris jumping up from third to second to take home that Sunoco Hard Charger Award. However, it would be Alex Mayer taking home the Scott Young Enterprises Fastest Lap Award. Now let's check in on the podium for round three. Find out more at epcusa.com. 20 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPC USA. First up, let's get our third place finisher to step on up in front of the beautiful banner, Steve Hamilton. And presenting our trophies this weekend is the Right Turn Promotion Summer Intern, Alyssa Karecki, who actually uh, found these online and bought them. So, yay! Congratulations, Steve. Here, take this one. I did, uh, I'm sucking almost on the microphone. Okay. <laughs> just don't like it. This is it. not good for COVID-19. <laughs> Who else can just suck don't like this? it? <laughs> I just yeah. hold it on my chin. Yeah, the uh, the double yellow gave me a chance to close it back up, but Riley kept ahead of me, didn't have enough for him at the end. So good race by Riley and Alex, and uh, it's lots of fun. Thank you. Congratulations. 
And in second place, as you mentioned, uh, Riley Harris. So, Riley, what did you think about that yellow flag? Well, it allowed us to cool the car down a little bit. <laughs> and it gave me a break. But, no, the restart on the yellow flag was interesting because the Continentals kind of moved over on me, so I was thinking Steve was going to go right up under me, so... We got lucky and then we were able to hold him off for the rest of the race. Almost got Alex on the start, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how those Continentals were going to play into that situation. It looked like they were kind of getting in your way. Just a little bit. Alright. And your winner, second winner of the 2020 season, it is 77, Alex Mir! Me 118. What happened? It was way too hot to do anything like that. Um, yeah, track got really icy towards the end, and uh, tires were super hot. The caution helped us cool everything down, so temperatures seemed to be pretty decent. We were running the MPT oil, so 30 pounds of oil pressure still runs great, but other than that, it was awesome. Congratulations. Have some fun. Don't hit my camera. <laughs> Must be the first time. I think that might be the only time this year that never mind. Uh, All right, guys, yeah, congratulations. I was going to say something about that Caleb car. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. State of the art electronics recycling. Processing more than 1.5 million IT assets a year. When the cars rolled out Sunday morning, Alex Mayer doing just a few laps to put that car on pole for another MPT Industries pole position. Behind him it would be, once again, Steve Hamilton in second place and then Riley Harris rounding out the top three. Once again, Alex Mayer would open a pretty big lead. However, at the start, Steve Hamilton did stick his nose around the outside, but decided better to, that turn one was probably not the place to go around the outside, especially of Alex Mayer, and backed off a little bit lost him a little bit and it would be uh, Riley Harris that jumped up into second place there. Extremely close. Data destruction, remarketing, recycling. IT asset disposition services you need now. Third place finisher, Steve Hamilton! My on? You're on, Steve. Congratulations. Great race. Thank you very much. Another nice trophy. Um, thank you to uh, all the sponsors, NOCO, MPT, MIR. All those guys on the on the Alex's suit. <laughs> Remember them all, Hoosier. Now today was a fun race. Uh, at the start, I couldn't get by Alex, uh, which you know I, I didn't want to cause that turn one wreck down there. Uh, and then uh, Riley slipped by right behind Alex, and I couldn't catch up to him until late in the race. I just didn't have enough rows at the end of the straight. I hit the rev limiter drafting him, so he had plenty of power down the straight. But it was a fun race, and I uh, enjoyed it. Thanks to everybody. Well, congratulations again. Uh, you guys put on a phenomenal show. Uh, it was great watching the gap get bigger and smaller, and uh, you guys, it was great. Uh, so once again, uh, next up, our second place finisher and the Sunoco Hard Charger winner again, Riley Harris. <laughs> congratulations, Riley. There's a microphone on the table behind you. Why don't you tell us about your race? Yeah, it was a good race. Uh, Everybody got a good start, so it was kind of interesting. Decided not to go three wide into turn one, or the first corner, so just Could've waited it out. Could have been fun. <laughs> uh, if you guys do that, tell me so I can be there. We'll do. We'll, we'll let you know before we do it. Uh, just want to thank the sponsors and all my crew for all the help they've done this weekend. Couldn't have done it without them. Thank you, guys. Congratulations again. Uh, 
and like I said, the uh, Sunoco Hard Charger winner. So, once again, another jug of fuel for you, buddy. Congratulations. Yeah, ask Steve about why that has a dent in it. <laughs> so, all right, and uh, next up, your race winner with a new track record, 120.7, the Scott Young Enterprises Fastest Lab Award, Alex Mayer. So Alex, I have one question. Um, so just, I don't know if you guys know this, but the track records that were, were set last year with him and Nico were a couple thousandths apart, 121.4, and now both your qualifying and your race record are about a thousandth of a second apart at a 20.7. So uh, yeah, but other than that, tell us about your race. Did you go that fast simply to lap Dixon? Nope. <laughs> Dad told me on the radio that Dixon was like a couple turns ahead, and I was like, I gotta go get him. So, you know, we just had to put the whole field, you know, almost a lap down, and it was it was pretty awesome. Uh, Steve got a great start. He was dry me down in turn one, and he had about a half a car on me as we entered, so I thought he was going to hang out there on the outside and be on the inside for the next one, but uh, maybe maybe next weekend. <laughs> yeah, you guys definitely put on a great start. I got to say, that was uh, fun to watch, and I wish you would have hung on, Steve. That would have been uh, really entertaining to see uh, two by two going through one. Or four, I guess, yeah. technically. But congratulations again, guys. Uh, we're going to give you some giant checks before we spray champagne for the uh, total weekend cash and prizes that y'all have taken home. So, Alyssa, you want to grab uh, the first one there for Steve? $810 for third place in the money this weekend. And second place in the money with $1,340. That's $1,340. And your money winner, 1360 for Alex Mayer. So congratulations again. And guys, remember, all of this is thanks to all those sponsors that are across that banner behind you and all over Alex's suit and the cars. And uh, yeah, MIR, EPC, Scott Young, Rebel, Race Mirrors, you name it. Uh, thank them. So congratulations, guys. One more time, hold them up for me. Who's ready to spray some champagne? All right, meet us outside. Let's have some fun. You guys ready to have some fun? Congratulations on a great weekend. Fourth of July. Woo! I'm leaving. Get him! New track record! It's flat. You're going to get him in turn Just check your... Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. Those are definitely wet. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in. <laughs> <laughs> Got him again. <laughs> we'll be back in two weeks from VIR. Joel, Shane, I know you're watching. I saw you. You better show up. VIR. Two weeks. We'll see you guys there. EPC is a proud sponsor of the North American Formula 1000 Championship.